What's going on, everyone? This is Mitch. Hope you all had a great start to your week, a great Monday. There's not a lot to talk about in this video, so I'm not going to keep you very long tonight. Uh, just a very quiet and nice looking week weather wise, a nice looking fall week, and we'll continue to do so. It looks like we will warm up each day a little bit more, but not anything hot like we've seen the last, you know, 10 to 14 days in the first half of October. So we're going to talk about some things we're, um, you know, seeing. Um, you know, as far as anything, you know, out there, I am watching the chances for some first flakes to fall maybe around this time next week in parts of the Northeast. So I'm going to mention that in this video. I'm not going to get very detailed on it because there's really no point to get very detailed on it, but I'm going to uh, definitely bring it up. <clears throat> I've had a little bit of a cold, guys. Yeah, so if I lose my breath and kind of have to pause and kind of, uh, kind of bring myself together a little bit. That's why um, I don't have COVID. I got tested again, but um, definitely got the crud going on right now. seems like a lot of people in this area got it, but um, moving forward here, if you guys have not subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. Like the video if you like it. The videos, there's just, there's just not a lot to talk about. And, uh, you know, so the views have really, really went down. In fact, I don't even know when I've had my last video. They got over a thousand views, but it's all good. I appreciate everybody who continues to tune in anyways, and I'll continue to pump out the content because I want to remain consistent when the weather does pick back up. So um, let's get going here. <coughs> so um, looking at uh, visible satellite here, you can clearly see that a cold front has moved through. Now there is some lake effect clouds, lake effect bands of moisture coming off the Great Lakes. That's beginning to kind of scare off the East Coast. And there is a little bit of clouds here near where the frontal boundary kind of is. But everywhere where the front is cleared, not a cloud in the sky. You know, it's it's insane watching when these frontal uh, passages move through and how it just really clears out the atmosphere. And it actually feels that way too, so it's pretty crazy to watch. But looks like the atmosphere is kind of reloading as far as moisture. You can see it with these clouds. <clears throat> and then potentially another front moves through and reloads um, some maybe some fall or autumn air here. But looking forward here, as far as any kind of big storm systems in the eastern U.S., I really don't see nothing. There is going to be a, uh, a low pressure that kind of rides uh, the jet, the northern stream up here. This gets going here. It moves through. This will enhance a cold front that will move through the northeast this weekend. Uh, this has the potential to pump out some snow showers for the interior or er, interior areas of the northeast. So any areas in these higher elevations in the northeast who have nice uh, fall foliage still, you know, you're going to get that uncommon occurrence where snow will be falling on the you know the beautiful colors. I've always wanted to experience in that when you have peak fall colors and then you have snow falling on top of it. I think that's the coolest thing ever personally, but <clears throat> of course where I live here in South Carolina, we don't ever get to experience anything cool like that. Unless you get something like the freak November 1st um, snow event that happened in central South Carolina in 2014, which anybody local in the area uh, definitely remembers that. But um, my cat must be in here. But going forward here, um, <clears throat> I don't really see anything crazy to talk about. You get into next week, maybe some more moisture. It's going to be very dry. Not a lot of moisture going on here. Um, but there is going to be a sharp cold front that sets up somewhere in the northeast that might dig down here and funnel some cold air down the most eastern areas of the southeast. We'll continue to watch that. But um, moving forward, I don't see any major storm systems, any major, major cold fronts, any crazy early season uh, snowstorms or anything like that. The tropics remain quiet. In fact, I'm starting to think that we're done with the tropics. Um, I tell you what, I, <clears throat> I made a tweet on Twitter a couple days ago talking about how um, um, basically, you know, the 2021 hurricane season was going to drop in names like crazy. Um, it looked like that we were easily going to make it to Wanda, but now we just flat out stopped after Victor, and there's an outside chance. I wouldn't even call it an outside chance. There's a pretty good chance that we might not even make it to Wanda. Um, it was looking, I would say, three, four weeks ago that we were going to clear the alphabet, but now things have really slowed down in the eastern basin, and uh, <coughs> it just... Uh, pretty much an abrupt end to hurricane season. Now, something can still fire up for sure, but I'm starting to think that it's not. So that's good news for for that. 
Uh, moving forward as far as temperatures, a beautiful week will continue. Another chilly morning. It got down to 41 degrees here at my house in central South Carolina. A lot of areas at the upper 30s, including some first frost outside of the mountains. So it was really impressive. Going forward, a beautiful, beautiful day across the eastern U.S. You know, some areas will be dealing with some rain, but not many areas. But you notice we... The low temperatures are a little bit warmer as we get into uh, Wednesday morning, and it's a little bit warmer as we get into Wednesday afternoon. And as you can tell, the, the temperatures warm up more and more uh, the more east you go. Now, if you look in here, you're seeing some of the cooler colors moving in. That's because you got another cold front trying to dig through here. But <clears throat> as we get into Friday, check it out. You've got high temperatures starting to get well into the 80s again across the deep south and the southeast. And then the cold front moves through. And we'll have to see how much, how uh, far southeast this cold front digs. Because it might not dig very far southeast. That is a big question. Um, is Are we going to have a cool weekend across certain areas of the southeast? Or are we just going to have a warm weekend? But I really think the mid-Atlantic points north is going to be cool this weekend. Another fall-like weekend. Um, but <clears throat> as we get potentially into next week, you know, things might change. It looks like this is going to be a huge battleground between cooler air and hot air um, setting up next week. So the pattern next week is very questionable. It's going to be it's going to be weird to try to figure out what's going on next week. Big time question marks as we enter our last week of October as far as what's going to happen. I'm not sure. You know, I've been talking about it a little bit with my buddies. Um, next week is weird. Um, will it be cold? And for those areas south, is it going to, are we going to torch? Is it going to be very warm? Um, big question. So, um, that's all I got guys. Very, one of my shortest videos here. There's just not a lot to talk about. I don't want to sit here and uh, talk about the same things over and over again. So, uh, hope you all have a great night. That's all I got. Y'all stay blessed.